<laughs> Thank you very much, my friends. Thank you so much. Oh, man, the love. The love is real. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I appreciate the love. Merci infiniment pour votre présence, votre implication. C'est vraiment un honneur d'être ici parmi vous. Uh, merci pour tout ce que vous avez fait. Merci. Uh, my friends, before I go any further, I want to acknowledge the traditional territories that were gathered upon. The unceded Coast Salish territories of the Squamish, the Tsleil-Waututh, the Musqueam, the Kwikwetlem, the First Nations. My friends, this has been an incredible night. It's been an incredible campaign, an incredible journey, and it is such an amazing honor to be home here in British Columbia with all of you. I also want to take a moment to congratulate Mr. Trudeau and the Liberal Party for their the evening's results. I want to congratulate them, the new Prime Minister. And I, and I spoke with Mr. Trudeau, the Prime Minister, earlier tonight, and I let him know that we'll be working hard on making sure we deliver the priorities that Canadians have, that all of you have, and we're working on that. We are going to make sure that the energy that we built over this campaign, the excitement that we built, and the focus that we put on people, on people's struggles, continues, and so that we can play a constructive and positive role in the new parliament that Canadians have chosen. I want you to know, this is always going to be our focus. When we get back to Ottawa, every single day that we're in Parliament, New Democrats are going to be working hard to make sure your life is better, so that Canadians' life is better, so that people's life are better. I also want to congratulate the other leaders, the parties, Mr. Scheer, Ms. May, and Mr. Blanchet. I want to congratulate anyone, anyone who allowed their name to stand for any party. It's a tough thing to do, and I want to thank you all. I got to tell you, I'm really proud to have been able to lead a team that is the most diverse, that represented women, that represented LGBTQ. This team, this team was one of the most caring and the most diverse team that we've been able to run, and I'm so honored to be able to lead that team. And I want to thank, I want to thank the tens of thousands of volunteers that came out to support our campaigns and our teams across this country. There are far too many people for me to name. I'm sure you can imagine that. <laughs> But I'm just going to name just a couple. Uh, first off, someone who's been beside me, by my side throughout this journey, throughout this adventure. Uh, my wife, my life partner, Grikidin. <laughs> she stole the show. She stole the show once already. I would love for her to steal the show again. <laughs> Uh, I also want to thank my family, uh, my brother, my, my mom and dad, and my sister, everyone who's been uh, such a big support to me throughout my life, my friends, uh, and my team in Ottawa, my team here in BC, my team across the country. Thank you so much.
Now, now again, there's far too many people for me to name, but if I can just name two people that, that can represent the entire team that I have, it's hard to do that, but there's two people I think you wouldn't mind if I, re if I recognize. Uh, they don't know I'm doing this, but I want to recognize two people, in fact, two incredible women that were uh, integral to this campaign, and I'm proud to say they're women. It's something that's really powerful in our, in our party. Uh, <laughs> My, my campaign director, Jennifer Howard. And my national director, Melissa Bruno. Two of the most powerful positions in our party were young, or not young, well, kind of youngish. <laughs> Young, powerful women, let's just say, they're powerful women. Either Melissa or Jennifer are gonna get really mad at me over that one now. <laughs> Both. <laughs> um, I also wanna thank the, uh, the incredible people of Burnaby South for re-electing me, giving me the honor. I, I'm humbled, I'm humbled that you put your trust in me, thank you, and I'm gonna continue to work inc incredibly hard for you, to work with you, to work for you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta tell you, I've met throughout this campaign some incredible people, some inspirational people, uh, and I'm inspired by them, their stories have stuck with me, I've met these folks across the country, folks that, that inspire the work that we do as New Democrats. And one of those people is a young man, a young boy, barely 10 years old, who lives with a chronic illness, and told me that he wasn't worried about the chronic illness, wasn't worried about the medication and the injections, wasn't worried about the fact that if he didn't stay up on, on top of his medication or his blood work, he might, he might die. He told me he wasn't worried about any of that. He was just worried that his medication was costing a lot to his mom and dad. He worried about being a burden to his family. I, I remember that young, that young man. And I remember that young man and the fact that someone as young as that felt like he was a burden in a country as rich as ours. And that's a part of the reason why we're fighting. We're fighting for that young man. I also want to talk about Gracineros, a community, a community that represents the injustice historically and ongoing that indigenous people continue to face. There are people of Gracineros who are so resilient in the face of neglect and negligence and being ignored and being told they don't matter, being ridiculed. We brought the national campaign to Gracineros to let them know that they do matter, that they are worthy. And that indigenous reconciliation is sometimes as simple as basic respect and dignity for the first people of this land. And that means clean drinking water. That means. That means not taking indigenous kids to court. That means equal funding for child welfare, for education, and quality homes. Mes amis, j'ai rencontré des jeunes de tous les milieux. Plusieurs qui étaient passés à travers des moments difficiles. Ils étaient cyniques face aux politiciens. Ils n'étaient pas convaincus. Mais ils m'ont dit, tout nous ressemble. Tu parles comme nous, tu nous vois. Aux gens de Québec, je veux dire merci. Évidemment... Oui. Évidemment, évidemment, les résultats ne sont pas ce que nous voulions, 
mais l'accueil que j'ai reçu au Québec m'a fait chaud au cœur. Ce premier rendez-vous, ce premier rendez-vous électoral nous a permis de mieux nous connaître. J'ai eu la chance de vous démontrer que nous partageons les mêmes valeurs. Je suis reconnaissant pour le soutien que nous avons reçu ce soir, mais ce n'est pas été assez. On va continuer à se battre pour vous. Oui, merci. Merci. Nous n'allons pas laisser tomber le Québec. Nous continuerons à y être présents. Je continuerai d'être présent au Québec. J'ai dit, dit que nous allions unir les progressistes du Québec et du reste du Canada. Et ensemble, nous pouvons le faire et nous allons le faire. Jack a commencé le travail. Nous devons le continuer parce que les progressistes, c'est nous. Merci, mes amis, et à très bientôt. On ne lâche pas. Friends, throughout this campaign, I've heard a lot of stories about Canadians, from Canadians who are struggling and just want to build a good life but are finding it harder and harder to do so. And to those Canadians, I want to say to you this tonight. New Democrats are going to Ottawa to fight for you. Yeah. And friends, in the days ahead, I'll be meeting my new caucus, and we're going to sit together and talk and discuss about how we can deliver for the people of this country. Because the real winner of this election is not a party or a leader. The real winner of any election should always be the people, and that means Canadians. And Canadians, and Canadians sent a pretty clear message, a clear message tonight that they want a government that works for them, not for the rich and the powerful, not for the well-connected. And if, and if, exactly, exactly. And if all MPs, you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk. I'm sorry about that. And, and if all MPs elected tonight hear that message and act on that message, then the real winners of this election will be the people. Les <laughs> Canadiens, merci. Les Canadiens et Canadiennes ont envoyé un message clair ce soir. Ils veulent un gouvernement qui fonctionne pour eux. Pas pour les plus riches et les grandes multinationales, pour les Canadiens et les Canadiennes. Et, et si tous les députés élus ce soir attendent ce message et agissent En conséquence, les vrais gagnants de l'élection seront les gens. So I, I want to let you know, New Democrats are going to work hard to deliver the following results. We're going to work hard to make sure young people have a future with, that's filled with hope. We want, that's right, we want young people to be filled with hope. We want to make sure that Canada is a leader in the global fight against the climate crisis. Yeah. 
We want, we want families to have a more affordable life. And we want a Canada that's a nation that takes reconciliation seriously. And, and you know this, with New Democrats, for us, reconciliation is more than just a word. It requires real action. Real action. So, so here's what New Democrats are going to seek to do when we work with other parties to achieve, these are our commitments. These are the things that we want to continue to fight for. If you need medication in our country, we want to make sure you use your health card, not your credit card. That means a national, publicly delivered, single-payer, pharmacare for all. We want to help Canadians be able to get a home that they can afford. And what we mean by making life more affordable is not a, a tax cut for the richest Canadians, but tackling student debt by waiving all interest on student loans. That's right. That means, that means taking on the big telecom companies and putting a cap on cell phone bills. real and urgent action to fight the climate crisis, which includes ending fossil fuel subsidies and reinvesting in clean, renewable energy. And to make sure, absolutely, we gotta invest in housing. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And we're also gonna make sure we're gonna make sure we, we're gonna do something that no one else is uh, ready to say, but we're proud to say, and we're gonna say it again and again because we're gonna get it done. We're gonna make sure that the super wealthy start paying their fair share. <laughs> My friends, that's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> these, these are the priorities of people. These are the priorities of people that New Democrats will put at the heart of the conversations that we're going, we're going to have in the days and weeks to come. And if, and if the other parties work with us, we have an incredible opportunity to make the lives of all Canadians so much better. And even, we even, have a, we even have an opportunity to even change the way we do politics in this country. I want to talk to the many Canadians that rejected the call to vote out of fear and thank them for voting for hope. Yeah. 
And if, if any election showed the importance of this issue, this election showed it, with electoral reform, we can make sure With electoral reform, we can make sure that every election from now on is one where people don't have to vote against something, they can vote for something. <laughs> throughout, <laughs> throughout, this, throughout this campaign, I've met with a lot of young people. Uh, young people that came up to me and told me how much this campaign meant to them, how much it made them feel like they belong. Kids came up to me and told me that now, seeing this campaign, they feel like they can do anything. And that's been an inspiration. <laughs> While people might talk about the divisions in our country, what I've seen is that across this country, we share so much in common. We share so many values. We want to take care of one another. That's what it means to be Canadian. So to, so to everyone that I've met, everyone that's welcomed me and my team into your community and to your home, I want to give you a big hug and say thank you. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get down to work. I can't wait to speak to some of our incredible new MPs. Our job is clear. New Democrats have been given a critical role. You've given us a job to go to Ottawa and make sure that Ottawa does not continue to serve the interests of those wealthiest corporations at the very top but make sure we serve the people, Canadians. We're, we're never going to forget your voices. We're never going to forget your voices. We're going to work for you. We're going to work hard to get good things. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I think you kind of knew which way I was headed on this one. I'm, I'm going to, I'm still going to say it though, but thank you. I've said this from day one in this campaign. I don't work for the rich and powerful corporations. I don't work for those at the very top. I work for all of you. While while the other parties in the past have chosen to work for those powerful corporations at the top, the richest Canadians, they've chosen those at the top, I will always choose you. Thank you very much, my friends. We're gonna keep on fighting hard. We're gonna keep on going. Let's do this.